Hello, welcome back. Hopefully we're live streaming, I'm not sure. Keegan, is it working? Uh, maybe? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe? Anyway, we tried it yesterday and it didn't work out, so we just did a regular old video and then I posted it on YouTube and then also on um, Instagram a little bit uh, and then Facebook later. But anyways, uh, today we're at a house in Lake Clark Shores. It's another day, another address. And um, we're all getting bored to tears at home, uh, dealing with our family, children, cooking, drinking too much wine. So here I am attempting to, again, put on another dress and come in and show you another house. Um, today we're in Lake Park Shores. So yesterday we did a rental, which by the way, yesterday I rented out that rental because of this whole Facebook Live situation. And so today we're at a property in Lake Park Shores, um, 7639 Palm Road. Um, this is a three bedroom, two bathroom home, and it's in need of a little upgrading, but um, it is a great value. So I recently sold the house across the street, which I'll show you later, but I sold that for $550,000. Um, that one was renovated, unlike this one needs the next level, let's say, but it's got some really good bones. Um, and then we'll kind of tell you a little bit about Lake Clark. So I'm gonna take you into the master first. I know it's kind of backwards, but we're gonna walk through the house and then go out the backyard and around to the front. So the TV area is kind of here, the family area, which leads you into what is the master in this house. So if you come on in, we have dated windows in this house, so we do not have impact glass um, or impact doors, but the house is in quite good shape. You've got a pretty decent closet for a master for a home of this vintage. But again, it does need some um, upgrading, which is why we priced it in this price point under $400,000. The master bathroom is a little small. Um, there are ways I think that you could actually get a lot more value out of this house and with a little renovation and possibly moving a door, um, you could, in my opinion, make this a better master situation. Um, walking through this way, we're in the kitchen and it is a galley kitchen. Uh, the refrigerator is rather new and some of the appliances are, well, this one's new, the other two are at least 10 years old. But they work. We had the house uh, inspected recently and actually the inspection was really good. So there's nothing really wrong with this house other than it's just personal choices, I would say. So in here is another, I guess, your formal family room slash dining room, um, which overlooks Palm Road. And Palm Road is a really quiet street in Lake Clark. Um, this is the house across the street when we're out there, I'll tell you about, that recently traded for $550,000, uh, similar square footage, but it was renovated. The Palm Road is kind of an off street from Lake Clark, or in Lake Clark, so it's not off of really um, West Lake Drive or Pine Tree, which are the main circles in this neighborhood. The other really cool thing about Palm Road, which is the only street in Lake Clark, is that it is not on septic. So most of Lake Clark is on septic but Palm is on city sewer. And uh, obviously we all have city water, but this house is on city sewer, unlike any of the other Lake Park streets. So that's a huge bonus, especially when one day they will convert the whole neighborhood to sewer, you won't have to pay that expense. So this is the, I guess, split floor plan of the house. You've got two bedrooms and one bathroom. Keegan, if you wanna cruise on in. So two bedrooms and one bathroom over here. And you have a Jack and Jill bathroom in the middle. And for you locals, my friend Meredith Cunahan used to own this house and her husband. So Meredith and Clay Bradley used to own this house. So if you're looking at it and think you've been in it before, you, you probably have. And actually her brother, Sean Cunahan, is a builder and he did some of the renovations about 10 years ago to bring this place, you know, up to then, their standards. If you come back out this way, we can go out in the backyard. So before we go out here, let me stop you. Um, it has a really low, really low, low kind of balcony porch overhang out here. I'm not sure who put that on originally and nor was the, this owner or the former owner, but it's literally just pop it off and you can get some height because 
I'm 5'9", and I'm gonna hit my head on it, so. But it's an easy fix, easy fix. Here it is. To make you feel less, you know, the least claustrophobic, right here. But if you come on out, we do have a decent sized yard here. Um, side yard, backyard. I'll walk you through to the front yard so you can see how kind of awesome this street is. And actually, Keegan, if you wouldn't mind, come back here. And then turn around and so you can show everyone the roof line. And if you look at the roof line, you can literally pop that aluminum thing off and, you know, have a much higher vaulted outdoor patio seating area. So, definitely worth the expense. Got it? Mm -hmm. So this is Palm Road and a lot of neighbors are doing yard work right now because what else are you going to do? It's still too early to go drink, I think. It is in my house. So this is the property that I sold about a month ago for $550,000. And it is adorable. They did a really good paint job. Um, they added landscaping and completely renovated the inside. So for about $200,000 more, you've got a completely finished house. And then if you point down this way, you can kind of see, other than the landscape noise, and I apologize, um, just what Palm Road looks like. It's a fabulous street. It's a really quiet street. And it's just a really good section of Lake Clark. So let's go back in. Actually, let's go on the front door. So this house also has a two-car garage. A tiled roof. A cute patio entrance. I'll let you go in the front door. So if you walk in the front door to your left, Keegan, scroll to your left, this is the family room again that goes to the kitchen. Um, I have lived in Lake Clark Shores for 19 years, and um, I've done this same floor plan over again in our house, and you can really tweak it for not a lot of money to get like a more of an open kitchen concept plan. Because this wall in our house, we took down and we opened it up to have a big open kitchen. So there's a lot of things you can do in these houses. They were built really, really well. Um, and the exterior structure is still intact. It's just they're a little choppy sometimes. But if anyone's interested in looking at this house or any others, I am game to show you. Um, I'm really not even allowed to run anymore because I've pulled a ligament in my foot. So I've got more time on my hands, unfortunately. So give me a buzz. We're going to upload this to YouTube, Facebook, social media, you know, wherever we can. And uh, give me a call if you're interested in this house or any of my other listings. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you tomorrow.